Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, bringing you yet another Borderlands 3 Legendary Guide. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the wonderful Jacob's Headsplosion Sniper. It has returned, it is the exact same from previous games, which means whenever you hit someone with it, well, they're going to basically go boom. Because all the shots from the head explosion are basically mini grenades. They do explode upon impact. Now, unfortunately, I did get the minus 33% critical hit damage, which kind of makes it kind of useless for a sniper, but hey-oh. Um, anyway, uh, it is a Jacobs, which means critical hits do ricochet. However, the head explosion actually ricochets three bullets at the nearest enemies. I'm not sure if that's a part effect and other Jacobs can do that. However, the head explosion is the only gun I've had that ricochets to more than one enemy. So, 50-50 on that one, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I do have plus 100% splash damage radius, so the explosions do that little bit more damage to a wider area. In terms of stats, the damage for the head explosion is not actually that high. So, it's level 31 in my game, but... The damage was actually comparable to other level 31 snipers. It was a tiny bit higher, but not by much. The other snipers I was getting around level 31 were basically between 400 and 500 damage anyway. So the damage is more at the top end, but it's not like above and beyond better than all the others. Accuracy is really, really high at 95%, which means getting those headshots is going to be really, really easy. Unfortunately, handling, uh, handling is very, very low, though, which means, you know, there's going to be a lot of sway on the scope, meaning when you're scoped in, getting those headshots is going to be a little bit harder. Another letdown for the head explosion is the reload time. Because it's a revolver base, it does take 3.1 seconds to reload, which, unfortunately, combined with its small clip size, means... You know, come mayhem mode or something like that. If you have to reload right in the thick of things, you're probably in trouble. And finally, it does also have a very low fire rate. I mean, I didn't even get one with like a one shot per second. Mine's less than that. So, unfortunately, I can't really say the head explosion is a legendary worth going after. But if you want to get it for collector's purposes then that is no problem. I will tell you guys how to get right now. Okay, so first of all, you need to progress through the story until you get to an area called Conrad's Hold. And then towards the end of this area, there will be a hammerlock hunt called Manvark. And what you need to do is basically defeat Manvark. He'll go into a pod once you completely get rid of all his health. You cannot kill him before he goes into that pod. So destroy the pod and you'll get two more enemies spawn, which are like Manvark, question mark, question mark. Kill them, and once again, they will go into the pod as well. Now, this second pod phase is the last phase that they will have. Once you kill them, well, once you kill the respawn enemies after that, then this should drop for you, hopefully, if you're lucky. If not, no worries, just save and quit, and you will be right next to Manvark. If you've already gone through this area and you don't really want to run all the way back through Conrad's Hold, however, there is an easier way. If you actually fast travel to the Slaughter Circle, you can just exit the area and you are quite literally right on top of Manvark straight off the bat. But that's where I'm going to end this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to hit that like button. And remember to subscribe for more Borderlands free content, such as Legendary Guides, Leveling Guides... And of course, build guides. With all that said though guys, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.